Hi everyone, thank you for being a part of GCAP and joining me today as I discuss with you the EPIC Mega Grants program. My name is Amanda Sweeten, I'm the coordinator for the Mega Grants team, and I'm going to be going over with you some, uh, some tips and tricks when applying. I'm going to talk about the Mega Grants program, uh, some do's and don'ts, uh, and also just getting a little bit more into detail on what we look for uh, that you know stands out as a, as a really solid application. And I believe there's also going to be some time for, for Q&A at the end. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to speaking with you as well. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So what is an EPIC Mega Grant? For those of you unfamiliar with this program, Tim Sweeney announced the launch of the EPIC Mega Grants program at GDC 2019, a five-year, $100 million program dedicated to supporting people making amazing things with Unreal or enhancing open source initiatives. This is a no-strings-attached grant fund. This is not an angel investment or venture capitalist type funding. These are grants ranging from $5,000 to $500,000, and they are meant to support game developers, creators, designers, students, educators, etc., who are looking to push their projects to the next level. This may mean transitioning prototypes or proof of concepts to production. Maybe there's a need to hire additional resources for the final push to your first release. Maybe you're wanting to launch on a new platform, such as mobile, VR, or console. Maybe you've got a great prototype for a game, and you want to see it become reality. These are all eligible reasons to apply for a mega grant. As I previously mentioned, this is a no-strings-attached program. So what do we mean by this? This means if you're a recipient, you will receive funding for your project. You will also own your project. Epic does not require anything in return for these funds. You may be wondering if there are restrictions for what you can do with the funds if, you, if you're given them. The simple answer is whatever makes your project successful. Again, this is no strings attached. We will never ask you to pay back any money Epic has paid you under mega grants. Um, this isn't an investment. This is our way to give back and expand the community by continuing to support development. This is one of my favorite parts about my job. Um, at times you get to feel a little bit like Santa Claus. It's it's really the best part of my job is, is being able to tell somebody that, that they're a mega grants recipient. Our success is inextricably linked to developer success. I think this program speaks to how true those words are. What better way to create the next generation's leaders, developers, creators, and teachers than to help support these people creating the betterment of the community and technology. Again, our goal is to help push these projects to the next level or milestone. We really want to amplify your success. So maybe you're thinking about applying, or maybe you've already applied and you want a sense of what we've been looking for or what type of projects we, um, we have so far that have excited us. Um, I think this might be an appropriate time to segue into our sizzle reel that we shared with the world during Unreal Fest. Um, I think this short video will quickly capture the quality of recipients we've received so far. To date, there have been over 600 mega grant recipients from all over the world. In fact, from Australia and New Zealand, we currently have 53 recipients. I'm sure that number is going to grow. We're incredibly proud of the work that's been done so far, and we anticipate we'll exceed 1,000 recipients before the end of 2020. We have a vast pool of over 10,000 worthy applicants so far, and the decisions have not been easy. I want to take a moment to highlight some other examples of recipients our program has. You'll note these are not all game studios. 
We have schools that are creating unreal curriculum, such as Miami-Dade. We have several media and entertainment companies focusing on integrating real-time workflows into their developing pipelines. We have Metronomic NSR, who created No Straight Roads, an amazing team from Kuala Lumpur. Some more local ones, such as Brimstone Brawler and Poppy and Buddy. We truly have a wide range of project, project types and team sizes applying from all over the world for mega grants. One of these recipients I'd like to highlight is Bears in Space from Broadside Games. Let's take a look at their latest trailer. That video never gets old for me. Uh, we loved how fun this game looked and how incredibly involved they are with letting the community know where they are in development. We always love to see our applicants and recipients involved in showing the world some of their processes. So something you likely saw in Bears in Space's trailer is our recipient badge. We're very proud of it. Um, our, all of our recipients get this and it can be used in their own marketing and promotional material. Again, our goal is by showing our support, we hope that this badge will help amplify the success and highlights of these projects. So now that you know what Mega Grants is and who some of our recipients are, I wanna to touch on several topics here. First things first, I've read a lot of confusion on this particular topic over the past year. Is a project eligible for a mega grant if it isn't in Unreal? Yes, for the most part. If you started your game or prototype in a different engine and you're looking to convert to Unreal, apply and let us know. Um, if you're developing a tool that does or doesn't integrate in Unreal, but it can still be shared with the broader community, this is also eligible. Um, you know, we, we are really quite, quite flexible with this. We've had a lot of tools developers, you know, creating new, um, new pipelines and they want to share it with the community and that's, that's been open source and freely given. This is, this is great. Um, and again, all eligible. The do's and don'ts. As I previously mentioned, my team and I have looked at thousands of applications so far, and there's definitely been some things that we like to see on an application and some things we wish we could have you know, seen. Um, I wanted to super quickly touch on some do's and don'ts when applying for a mega grant. And by don'ts, we very gently just suggest don't do these things. Um, I do also want to say if you do these things, this is not a guarantee for funding. We're still reviewing all the details of your project. These are merely some best practices we've observed in some really, um, in some really great applications. Again, this does not guarantee funding. We work with some of the most brilliant minds at Epic when reviewing these projects, and there are several layers before a final decision is made. But improving the first step of applying should help improve the odds of receiving funding. Anywho, let's jump into some quick do's and don'ts. Do. So do provide meaningful video content. We're all visual people here. And when I say meaningful video content, I mean show us your core gameplay mechanics. Get me excited to play this game. This can still be in, a, in the prototype phase. You can have some serious fun with just cubes and spheres standing in as the players until art is added in. Again, totally cool with this. Don't. And again, we just gently suggest not to do these things. So, okay, so your game looks amazing, but all you've shown us is a player walking around to show these amazing environments off. This doesn't give us any indication on what your game is actually about, how to play it, and what the player is meant to be doing, really. Um, you know, beautiful environments are, are great and that's exciting, but if you're trying to get funding for a game, we want to know about the game. Do provide us with an amount requested. I realize this is not entirely a requirement, but it really does help us know what will help you. Also let us know if it's an all or nothing kind of thing. You know, do you need $200,000 to, to, to ship? Um, or can you, can you get to the next phase with less? Please let us know that. Um, you know, would a lesser amount still help you? Call this out, let us know um, if it's you know, not an all or nothing thing. We, we seriously do, we wanna help.
Don't just ask for the full 500K without giving us details on how you would use the funds. Again, it is totally within your rights to request this, but we really need to know what is going to help get your project to the next step. This is not an investment or a venture capitalist program. You'll hear me say this several times. We want to help as many people as we can. So when asking for the maximum amount of funding, be aware that this is uh, much more challenging to get selected this way. Um, so again, you're more than welcome to ask for 500K, but please, please provide us with, with you know, additional information on how you'll use those funds and, and why you need the full amount. Do reapply. Let's say you've been previously rejected, but you've made significant updates on your project. Seriously, reapply. We've actually had several previously rejected applicants get a mega grant based off of all of the progress that we've made. Um, this is something that I, I really want people to be aware of. You know, we do have so many applications that have come in and we have had to reject some really great projects as well. It's um, please continue to, to, to work on your project and reapply. And, um, you know, like I said, we've had, we've had recipients come out of this. It's, it's great to see. Don't reapply for the same project if it is still in review. Um, this, this really slows down the process for us. We will have to chase down your original project and kind of see, all right, what changes have been, ba been made? What are, what are some things that, you know, we can transfer to the, to the new application? Or should we, should we scrap the old application? Again, it's just much easier if you reach out to our team directly um, at megagrants at epicgames.com. Let us know what your major updates have been um, and that you want included in your application, whether this is an updated video footage, additional media, um, maybe you need to request more funding, maybe you need to request less funding. You know, any sort of major update that you want us to be aware of, don't put in a new application. Um, first of all, we, we don't want you to have to go through the trouble of reapplying uh, to make an update. We're happy to do this for you. Just reach out to us, megagrants at epicgames.com, and we're, we're pleased to update your application for you. The last thing I want to quickly touch on is do reapply if you're a previous recipient and you're looking for additional funding. Maybe you've hit a major milestone on your project um, and you just need a little bit of a push to get you there. Again, if you've made significant progress and you need help with the next phase, reapply. Let us know you're a previous recipient. Show us the progress you've made since, um, since you've received the funds. Uh, let us know what's, what's been some wins for you since re receiving the funds and let us know how we can continue to help. This is incredibly, um, incredibly cool thing about this program is, you know, we, again, we do want to help people. And we also realize that maybe you didn't receive full funding the first time you applied. Um, you know, this is, this is one of those exciting moments where you can, you can show us your project and our progress. And we're, we're like, yes, this looks great. Um, we, we would love to continue supporting this project. Uh, again, this does not guarantee funding a second time around. It just, you know, you're certainly eligible to, uh, to apply for a, a second mega grant. And we've, we have had recipients that have received additional funding based off of some amazing progress that they've made on those projects. So again, I do want to let you know that you are eligible to reapply for the same project. Um, so long as significant progress has been made. Um, and you are also eligible to reply to reapply if you've completed your first project and you've got another one in the works. Great. Reapply. We'd love to see it. Okay, so now that I've touched on some do's and don'ts, let's talk about making your application stand out. So some things that we look for in an application. Is it a good use of the engine? Tell us about that. Be clear, show it off, be as specific as you can. Has your team completed a prototype and you're ready for the next phase? Maybe it's to hire an additional resource to help with development, art, lighting, etc. Is it a conversion? Are you moving your old pipeline to Unreal? Let us know where you are on your process of deploying in Unreal. Has your team recently converted to Unreal and this is a new process for your team or are you still in the planning phases of converting? What does that timeline look like for you and your team? Also, it's totally cool if you're new to Unreal. You don't have to be an expert to apply. We really just wanna know where you're at with using the engine and is it a good or new way of using it? Highlighting this is definitely something we recommend. Again, if you're not in Unreal Engine yet and, and you plan on converting, this is totally eligible. Or if you're creating an open source tool that is uh, useful for the broader 3D graphics community and it's not in Unreal, again, totally cool to apply.
Does your project support the community? I touched on this previously, but again, maybe you're not using Unreal at all. In many cases, this is okay too. We realize not everyone has the same level of access to tools or hardware. What are you developing and how will it have a larger impact on other groups' development? Will the project widely make your industry a bit better, a bit stronger? Does it offer new process efficiencies? Is it a new pipeline? Is it a super useful tool you're developing that you want to freely give out to the community to help strengthen the 3D graphics communities? This particular point is very on brand for Epic Culture. And again, we're thrilled to have funded some really exciting tool solutions. So I just want to reiterate, your project does not have to be an Unreal, but it does have to benefit the greater 3D graphics community to be considered for a mega grant. Make sure to touch on this if it is relevant in your application. How do you plan to grow? What's your longer term plan? Just a reminder, this is not a venture capital pitch. When we say growth plans, we're not looking for the fine details. We really want to know how you can amplify your project or company or your vision through this grant. How do you plan to grow your success in the areas that make the most sense to your project and team? Are you looking to port to other platforms such as console releases, VR, mobile, etc.? Are you planning on implementing crossplay? Let us know this. Help us understand how you intend to grow. Be as clear as you can be. What is your long-term plan, not just for the next 30 days? Where can this project take you? This shows us your own investment and vision for the future of this project. Bring the excitement to your plan. We really want to feel your passion and energy for the project you're presenting to us. This can be done by videos or prototypes you submit with your application, um, or when you discuss your project plan, tell us about your milestones, talk about your team, who they are, and why they're the best team to accomplish this project. Talk about why you're passionate about it and how a mega grant can help make an impact and move the needle for you. This doesn't need to be a long wall of text either. Again, we've received thousands of applications um, and we, we review every single one. So, you know, just include all the information that you want us to know, but be mindful that, that sending us walls of text, we, we really want to, to, to have it be digestible, right? Um, so, so, you know, think elevator pitch, like hit it hard, be passionate about it, be excited clear on what funding you need. I have touched on this briefly, but I wanted to talk about this a little bit more. How much do you need to reach your project's goals? How much do you need to get started? Are you in the middle or end of production and you're realizing you need to hire additional teammates to get through the next phase? What amount is really going to move the needle for you and your team in an impactful way? Be realistic in this request. Providing this information really gives us an insight on what you need to keep this project project progressing and we want to help. How will you use the funds? This doesn't need to be an itemized list of every budget cost. Really a high level breakdown on how your team will use the funds is quite fine. Um, I do always love to see this presented in phases personally, particularly with larger requests. Um, really this just helps us understand what you, what you need and why you need what you're requesting rather than just putting in a round amount. Um, this is a request for a no strings attached grant. We like to see a little bit of effort put into this and for applicants to be realistic on what amount can help them. All right, let's recap. What is Epic Mega Grants? It's our $100 million funding program for Unreal and open source projects with no strings attached. I showed you some example recipients, shared some insider do's and don'ts, and then I also talked about how to make your application stand out. So, you know, what are we looking for? Is it a good use of the Unreal Engine? Does it support the community? How do you plan to grow? Bring the excitement to your application and be clear on your funding needs. All right, so after all of that, maybe you're wondering, great, how do I apply? You can find our application page on our site at unrealengine.com forward slash mega grants. On this page, you can also find a link to our frequently asked questions, which I did touch on a little bit in this presentation. Um, in addition to that, if you want to ask any additional questions from our team, again, you can reach us at megagrants at epicgames.com. Okay, that wraps everything up. Uh, thank you guys again so much for being a part of this presentation. We'll jump into Q&A here shortly, but again, thank you so much. I know I went over a lot of information in a short amount of time, and um, hopefully I'll be able to address most of your questions during the Q&A. If there are still some questions, please feel free to reach us at megagrants at epicgames.com. I really look forward to reading your application. Thanks.